All right, you guys, welcome to Power Launch, August 2nd. I kind of feel like this is the launch of the seminar year, right? Like we wrap up a seminar year and we get ready for July, we strategize it, but really like this is where the rubber hits the road. And so I was thinking this morning, we called June, mud June, cause it's really like momentum gets going and then June, the rubber hits the road. So August is when the rubber hits the road for those who are building their Mary Kay businesses to advance up the career path, to earn income, all the things. And so Lauren is our guest speaker. Um, you may recognize her if you were at seminar or you saw um, pictures. So I know Lauren from way back. Um, she was part of the Heather Carlson National Area. So part of our family. So she's your like great aunt or great cousin, <laughs> a couple removed. So it was Debbie Moore. She had Kathy Hulu and myself. Kathy Hulu had Heather. And that's where Lauren comes from, from the Carlson area. So she is no stranger to the stage for sales court. I've had the privilege of um, being her escort on stage the last couple years as runner up. And mm -hmm. so this year we're picturing a crown on her head. And I asked if she would just share with us, um, with you all some, um, this may be your first year in Mary Kay. You're listening to this um, playback and you're like, I'm brand new. This doesn't apply to me. No, 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 no. It very much applies to you because Mary Kay Ash built this business on nothing happens until someone sells something. And so regardless if your goal is national sales director, pink Cadillac, or obviously you have to sell something to pay some bills and make some money, but everything starts with selling this product and being in front of people selling the product and the other creative ways that you can sell the product. So this is for you if you're new, this is for you if you are going for star consultant, the uh, 600 a month promotion the company does at Cute Stamp Pad this month is really unique um, and cool and super useful, very on trend, um, Princess Court, Queen's Court, or we have many who have done Queen's Court multiple times, and I've thrown the challenge out, finish it by leadership this year. That's going to put you in top 20 or top 10 or maybe top three, or you can compete with Lauren and run to that finish line for the throne. She'd be open for that. You know, mm -hmm. competition in Mary Kay is super healthy. And I love that she's willing to come and share with us and doesn't look at like, oh, well, that's competition for me. Like she has a, a go give heart and knows that she's contributing to the betterment of all of Mary Kay. So um, Lauren has been a star consultant since she started Mary Kay in 2000 with 91 consecutive stars. So that gives you a tip right there. Star is non-negotiable. Mm -hmm. We still are racing through our first quarter, uh, September 15th for our, your first star of this seminar year. She's had a bronze medal. That means she's had three team members 58 times. Silver medal 35 times and gold 38 times. What that tells me is that Lauren's doing Mary Kay full circle, book, coach, sell, recruit. She's not just selling product or not just recruiting. She's doing it all together, which was Mary Kay's plan and intentions. She's been in Queens Court of Sales for 16 years, Port of Sharing 14, Circle of Achievement six times, highest $400,000 in retail sales for her unit double star eight times and triple star six times. You have that gorgeous triple star necklace on. Highest commission in one month, $9,432 and has earned 10 cars currently driving the Mary Kay pink Cadillac. So I asked Lauren to share a little bit of her eye story um, in, in focusing on some things that have been challenging in life, right? Like she's talking to people in the sales force. And sometimes people have a perception that people that have crowns on and sit at thrones have the luxury of living in a vacuum without any tough stuff happening in life. And that's that's insanity, that's delusional, and that is not true. Um, and then she's gonna share Queen's Court of Sales over 100,000 retail. Um, so she's going to share with us how she's done that. And then you guys take notes. You can re-listen to this. It will be on my YouTube channel under full, uh, full circle, but Lauren, take it away. Well, first of all, Dawn, thank you for having me. You have no idea how honored and incredibly humbled I am. 
I am so nervous and I know it's being recorded, but I literally had to go to the bathroom before I started because I was so nervous. Um, I just- Take a I deep want, breath, Lauren. Take a deep I breath. Want, breathe in, want, breathe out. <laughs> nothing to be nervous. You, you do this. You own this. They are sitting on the edge of their seats because the fact of the matter is you have done more than anyone that's listening to this has. So we are sitting on the edge of our seats and you know, like- we want to receive this with open arms, open heart. Just breathe and be yourself because All that's right. what we want to hear. Well, I'm kind of like that quiet person. I'm not a quiet person, but I'm that quiet person when it comes to my own accolades. I, I just kind of do what's the next best thing that I have to do. But to kind of give you a little bit of my background, um, I started Mary Kay in the year 2000. Um, and shortly before that, I had been introduced to the product about uh, three weeks beforehand by Michelle Arms, and I didn't wear makeup. I washed my face with deodorant soap. I had two friends. One was my daycare provider. I, I tell you, you'd be my friend too if I paid you $750 a month. Um, <laughs> I mean, I didn't really have friends. I didn't have a community. I didn't have this luxury of this positive Mary Kay world. Um, it was very stressful. I was a single mom of a two and a six year old. I was working 50 to 70 hours a week um, over at Staples. I didn't know if I was coming or going. It was like that easy button was never easy. Um, but, you know, when you have a purpose, you just have to learn how to pivot in whatever situation it is. So I've learned how to do Mary Kay with young kids, which wasn't easy. And then I married a man there with four kids. So now I'm a stepmom of four kids plus my own. And, um, you know, stepkids don't love you automatically. It takes about seven years for them to acknowledge you that you really care about them. So that was very challenging. Then I'm taking care of my ailing parents. I did home hospice with both my parents. It was a blessing to be able to do that. If it wasn't for Mary Kay and working my business when I could, it paid me when it couldn't. And that's huge. I mean, I could just cry just thinking about that. Um, I've had multiple surgeries. Um, I've had three neck surgeries, back, arm, thumb, gallbladder, diverticulitis, confined to a chair for three, four months at a time because unbeknownst to my doctors and specialists, um, I ended up with Lyme's disease and it took them 10 years before they figured out what it was. And um, they didn't know if I had Crohn's, Parkinson's, MS. They didn't know what it was. So I was going to specialists all the time. Um, it's amazing what can happen. And it was affecting me neurologically. And that's this whole time I'm in Mary Kay. Um, and I will tell you, sometimes, I don't know, some of you who you're like, oh my gosh, how am I going to finish my star? I remember one time I was super sick. But I'm like, I got to finish. I was $1,000 away and I had 24 hours to do it in. I'm like, you know something? I haven't missed yet and I'm not going to miss now. That's when you dig deep. And that's when I started contacting um, all my customers and said, hey, um, trying to finish a huge goal in Mary Kay. I'm hoping you can help me out, whether it's just um, a lipstick, a lip liner, a mascara, didn't matter what it was, anything would help. Um, this is my goal. I'd love for you to be a part of it. And I will tell you, we finished. And it was, it was calling, calling on the phone. I wasn't able to go to people's homes. I wasn't able to drive at the time because at the time I was confined to a chair, but I could make phone calls. And even texting wasn't really a big thing back then. Um, actually, I don't even know if I even had, yeah, I did. I did have a cell phone, but it wasn't a big thing back then. So it was picking up the phone and calling people. Um, but we got it done. And I've been able to teach my consultants to do the same thing. And then a little over a year ago, my son was hit by a semi-truck. That was the year that we were second runner up to the queen. And he was paralyzed from the waist down. That 3 a.m. call was probably the second most traumatic call I've ever received. The first was when I found out that my daughter had been assaulted and I had to deal with that. That was also in my Mary Kay career. Um, you know, it's one thing when it happened to me. It's another thing when it happens to your child. But it doesn't matter what's happening in your life. I truly have learned how to pivot with a purpose instead of letting it stonewall me and stop me because it's super important to keep 
to keep the progress going because it's like a train. Um, it takes time to get that momentum. And Dawn was talking about this is, you know, momentum for August. You just have to keep it going because if you stop trying to restart that train, I mean, it almost takes three months to get that going again. So don't stop it. You just have to figure out a way to pivot with that purpose and then keep going. So then so my son gets hit by a car. I'm traveling back and forth, literally from the East Coast to the West Coast. He's in San Diego. And we're doing that. And this is right before seminar. Um, I also run a non for profit one soldier at a time. And to give you an idea of the enormity of it, last year we sponsored just shy of 2,700 veterans with hygiene packages of hope. This year we're looking to sponsor 3,000. So there's a lot on my plate, but we keep going. A little over a month ago, you know, I, I heard some news that honestly, it could have shattered my heart. It was, you, know, you, you keep thinking, geez, one more thing, one more thing. Um, I found out my dad wasn't my dad. Um, my, my kids for Mother's Day decided they were going to bless me with Ancestry.com. Besides a beautiful blanket with all their pictures on it. They're like, hey, let's, um, uh, let's let you, you've always wanted to know what your, what your ancestry was, blah, 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 blah. And I'm looking at like, it tells me I'm 50% Jewish. For my second parent, how is that possible? <laughs> I know my dad wasn't Jewish. And then it's the, that ding, 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 ding. And then I got an email from someone who said she was my sister, my half sister. So I really, my dad was my person. My dad that raised me, he was my person. And um, but apparently my parents both took this one to the grave. And at the end of the day, my dad, still my dad, the dad that raised me, he loved me. He nurtured me, and before he passed away, he still told me, you'll always be my little girl. No one and nothing can take that away from me. Not hearing the news that I've got another, you know, I had a dad and all this stuff happened because that's in the past. My past does not dictate who I am. What dictates who I am is my character and who I am and what I do today and what I do moving forward. So I don't know, you know, why I'm sharing all that with you. I just hope someone's blessed by that. But um, there's been a lot of crap that's happened. I call it shiitake, but we can't let that. <laughs> yeah, we can't let that rule our world. So I wasn't too sure where you wanted me to go um, from there, Don. So I want to ask you that that's kind of like my background. There's more to it, but it would take literally a lifetime. So no, I like think that that. that that's sufficient. Seriously. Like I remember this year I was hearing about your dad's story and last year behind stage, I was hearing about your son. So I'm praying that this year there's like no gigantic life things when we're standing behind stage for the throne, but no doubt if there is, you are going to figure out how to pivot, which is so that's, that's something that was modeled to me by Mary Kay Ash mm -hmm. and the women in Mary Kay. I did not see that type of thing in life. And I'm so grateful for it because that's changed who I am as a woman, a mom, um, a grandmother, et cetera. So Lauren, um, what would you like to share about to the people who, all right, they've never done Queens Court of Sales. Where do they start? Like, what would your game plan be for that? That, you know, they're averaging, what is it? Eight fifty a month retail or a week retail. I mean, I remember having the old fashioned tea sheet on my refrigerator mm -hmm. back then it was like six fifty retail. So now I'd have eight fifty retail and every single thing I sold, I subtracted against it. Mm -hmm. And then I was also keeping track of faces because obviously new faces are important because it's just sales mm -hmm. then you're kind of just like the hamster on the wheel and you can't, right. it's hard to do Queens Court of Recruiting that many times and earn cars when it's just reorders. So I'd like you to speak to the consultant who's never done Queens Court of Sales and then any additional selling ideas so that the people that maybe did Princess Court or want to go for it this year can see the different ways that you sell product. Okay, great. So I'm going to go back to um, the the first year I did um, Queen's Quarter Sales, because I will never forget. Um, I had heard someone share at a career conference, which um, what I must say is never miss an event. Never, You never know what nugget you're going to hear. It's an investment in your business. It's an investment in your future. And I, um, I went to this event. 
And she talked about how she only did skincare on half the face and half the neck. I'm sure a lot of you are already doing that. But before that, I had done my highest I'd ever done was 26,000 retail. I literally doubled and did 52,000. I did well above and beyond what needed to be done, all because I started doing half the face and really had my customers, whether it was one, if it, whether it was one at a time or a group of people taking a really good selfie so they could see the difference. I mean, you can't lie about that. I mean, it's, I mean, I'll even have them take a picture beforehand. If I think they're a real skeptical type person, I'm going to have them take a before picture because they're going to say, oh my, that side of my face was like that. Girl, it was not. <laughs> I'm just telling you right now. And I have a picture to prove it. So, uh, but half the face speaks volumes. And I always use the sonic brush. You want to up your sales? Always use that sonic brush on that half of the face. Use the massager. And you are, um, I mean, you, oh, I, I had the word in that line. You're really, really letting people know. Um, romance it. That's it. You're really romancing that sonic brush. You're romancing how great it feels when they're using it. And you're asking them, how does it feel? That's huge. Because when you ask someone, how does it feel? They actually have to acknowledge, how does this feel? They have to really think about it. And they're having them touch the difference in their face. Go like this. I mean, literally, one side's going to be just spongy and just go like this. And the other side's going to be nice and firm. Like, ooh, who doesn't want that? I'll, I'll wave a magic wand. I'll say, I'm going to pretend to wave a magic wand over your head. If there's one thing I could change about your skin, what would it be? So I'm going to make sure that when I'm doing this half face facial, I'm bringing out the things that they're interested in. I did the same thing when I sold Kirby's, which is kind of funny because um, I, I don't have time to be at someone's house for three hours. Neither do you. So it's the same thing with Mary Kay. You want to um, go in, go out, so they don't feel like you're taking up all their time unless they just want you to listen to them, which is fine. But you want them to know that this appointment, I'm going to come in, we're going to do the appointment, I'm going to leave. So when they decide to have a party with me, because you know I'm going to play a deal or no deal game with them, um, they're not going to think I'm going to take over their entire life. That's super huge, super important. And if I'm going to them, I actually like to find out beforehand, so I kind of back, you know, backpedaling. If I'm going to them, I like to find out. I ask them if I could wave that magic wand, what would it be? I'm going to make sure I bring those products with me. You can't bring your whole store. So you want to bring um, what they're really looking for and then things that you would recommend on top of that. So most of my customers come to me, I'm going to be honest, but I will travel up to two hours even it's just to meet one person, because you never know the power of one, never discount the power of one. Um, I like to try to, you know, meet people outside my area so I can build outside my area. I mean, just plain and simple. So that was the first thing that I did to become a star. I mean, that was really it. Um, just by doing half that face that made all the difference in the world. Then if I want to grow on top of that, I'm doing facial bowls. You've all heard of facial bowls. I'm sure they're all on Dawn's site. Here we go. Little facial bowl. So it says, there we go. Uh -huh. And super easy, super simple. Um, those are the ones I'll put together when I'm not present. When I am present and I'm doing like this past week and just kind of give you just an actual weekend. My actual weekend, um, Saturday and Sunday, I had an event at a horse show. Very, very odd, but they asked me to come out and I'm like, hey, I told the Lord I would not say no to any opportunity that he gave me that I would do my very best um, because my goal is to be queen. That's my goal. I missed it by like 6,000 retail. Ouch. <laughs> huh? um, we're not missing it again. So I did. I went to the event. Um, it was literally pouring rain pouring. I did have to pack up, but I knew I was going back the next day. So I left there. And oh, before I left, um, I did wave a magic wand over someone's head and ask what I could change. And she said she had a red nose. Okay. I have some CC cream. That's going to take care of that for you right then and there. It's a complexion corrector. So know your products. If you don't know your products, learn a new product every single week. Super huge. 
took care of that, left, went to my other event. Well, and it was a shootout for soldiers. I run a non-for-profit for our military. Well, I happened to see this one booth and this, and I had my Mary Kay car there and I could tell she was eye spying that car. There was no way I was going to walk away from an opportunity. If she's looking at me, I'm coming to her. I mean, Mary Kay used to have something. Anyone who's in your three foot, you know, two, three foot, you want to approach them. Well, I saw her and she might've been eight feet away, but I knew she was watching. So um, she was actually one of the big wigs for Wegmans. I didn't know this. Could I have been intimidated? Was I intimidated? Absolutely. But I know I have a fabulous product and that speaks for itself. So, you know, we, we were kind of, you know, shooting the breeze and talking and they were giving away all this free stuff. And, and I will tell you, I, I try not to go anywhere without deal or no deal cards. Really, really try. And I usually try to have like five with me. And I'm like, hey, I got to know, do you love playing games? I totally love playing games. She's, now I've already, you know, she's like, yeah, I love playing games. Great. I go here, pick one. So she picks one. And I mean, I know I know I do the deal or no dig game a little bit different than other people. Um, and I did send all the attachments that I use. So I will use this envelope. Now, so she picks them like, oh, you can't open it yet. Go, I've been challenged to do 30 faces in 30 days. I love to get the opinion of people. And I want your honest opinion. If you're willing to give me your honest opinion and rally up three people, you can have whatever's in this envelope. So Sue, deal is I can totally rally up three people. No deal is there's no way I can rally up three people. And I know Sue. Oh, and also I'll go, there's no way you can rally up three people out of your phone. <laughs> That's the one thing I definitely, I, I will add, because you know darn well, they have more than three friends on their phone. So she goes, yeah, I'll take the deal. So here is, it says, time to party. Just little invitation cards from the dollar store. I open it up. The first thing she sees is, congratulations, you took the deal. So already she, she feels like a superstar. And guess what? Here's her invitation card. I don't have to send it in the mail. I don't have time. I just don't. So she's going to keep this part. I know she's going to win a charcoal mask. This is her first piece of jewelry. I go, oh, that's your first piece of jewelry from me. You can get these like 20 or 30 of these for like five bucks. Totally worth it. First piece of jewelry. I'll tell you, she put it on right away. She didn't even wait. She put it on. We scheduled her, her party right then and there. And I say, hey, if for any reason you can't keep this appointment, just let me know in the next 24 to 40 hours and we'll pick a date for you. So we picked one for her. She goes back, she talks to her people. And then if we have to change it, we do. I keep that little card that tells me what she's winning. And then we are good to go. So that's one of the big things that I do. And I do that. I don't care if I'm at a grocery store, if I, I've done it at Michael's, um, wherever I am, a party, a one-on-one -on -one appointment, you want to get, you want to meet more people. I will sell as much at a one-on-one -on -one appointment as I will at a party. But the party is where the expansion comes. So it's great to start with the one, but it's that book, sell, book, recruit. It's just the basics. The next thing that I do is I have these $25 gift cards. It looks like a real card, has my information on the back of it. And I let her know, you know, like when I, so I did go back to that um, horse show on Sunday and I was there for about four or five hours. Um, and it seemingly was not being very productive, but I'm like, you know something, I'm going to, I'm going to make something out of this. There may not, no one's come to me. I'm going to make something. I started talking to the workers. I said, you know, I've been watching you work so hard and I really appreciate you. I handed her this $25 gift card. She almost started to cry because she had been treated so poorly by the people that were coming up to her. And she was just a volunteer. She didn't get paid for this. She was just volunteering to help. And I made her feel like a million bucks. Needless to say, I have a new skincare customer because she said, I was looking for a Mary Kay person. You never know when they're right under your nose. So I want us to stop there and pause for a second to see if you had, had any questions before I kind of move on. 
you know, you guys, if you have questions, pop them in the chat and I'll keep track of those so that you can just keep going and cover all your info because they can re-listen. Um, so if you guys have questions, pop them in the chat and I can ask you at the very end. Okay. Alrighty. So I have, um, I have, I do have more customers than I have in my customer base, but they don't all get a book from me. Um, there are more of the people that, um, so I have 220 customers that I'm constantly working with. I have more customers than that, but that those are the people I'm working with. Um, about half of them are actually skincare customers. So they're getting their skincare from me. I mean, like we did 134,000 last year and about, I'd say about 60 of it was actually from the soldiers project. I'm very passionate about it. All my customers know that I run a non-for-profit and I give 10% of everything I sell to the project just across the board. I don't try and break it down because I made a deal with God that I would do this, but I would not profit from it. So um, I couldn't. So think Lauren, can I um, ask, is this something that they could contribute to? Some people have like party for a purpose, helping out someone mm -hmm. that's going through cancer treatment or different things. So if they wanted to partner up with you and they don't have a nonprofit or they don't have you know, an exact place to put some profits or some products, how would that work for other people? Um, I have people that, um, I mean, actually a third of my consultants, they signed up just because they were so passionate about what I was doing. They signed up so they could donate product. And I don't care if it comes from my own unit or another unit, as long as we have the product and, and I can get it out to our veterans, I am grateful. And we are a 501c3. So if you have, if you personally are passionate about supporting our military, you can send product, you can order product, have it sent here. And, um, and I can, can you email, will you, I'll give you my email. If you could email me any information they'd need, because then I could get that on my website. So everyone mm -hmm. has the information. So when you're, like in the public, when you're at your parties, do you let people know that when they buy blank, that then you're giving a percentage to the, that project, or is it actual products you're, they're buying from you that you're giving, sending to the project or both? Okay. So it's, it's kind of both. So when I am, when I am um, doing a party, I let them know right off the bat that besides all the great things that Mary Kay gives to, because, you know, Mary Kay is like the queen of philanthropy. Um, I personally have my own personal non-for-profit and that 10% of whatever you order is also going to go to support our military. I'm going to take that to buy product to give to our veterans, our local military moms and wives, those serving overseas. So they know right off the get-go what, you know, what the whole story is. They know what I'm going to do because I tell them. Um, people don't know unless you tell them. We seem to assume, oh, they they know that Mary Kay gives over three million, you know, to cancers that affect women and and um, and to help eradicate um, domestic violence against women and children. Most people don't know that, and we just assume they do. People love to team up with companies that have a purpose. And for us, we are 100% non for profit. No one makes a penny, obviously, including myself. Um, I literally just spent $1,100 just to purchase t shirts mm -hmm. for our event that comes up on August 13th. It's our fifth annual Heroes of Hidden Heroes event. So, um, and so, needless to say, um, it's just nice to know that, that we have this availability to do that. And if, it, if I didn't have Mary Kay, I couldn't do this project. And I think that I've heard, like, I know consultants, they'll, so whatever the products are, like whatever information you give me, they would know the products that you need that you send. So I've known consultants that have gone to business owners or customers and, you know, taken donations that they then are ordering the product for mm -hmm. um, and sending it then right to you, to your nonprofit. So it's being shipped out. But is there... Um, some words that they can say and can't say with that as far as Mary Kay's perspective? Um, well, I don't tell them, I go, this is not a Mary Kay project. This is a 
personal project that that mm -hmm. I am that I am running. Yes. Yep. Yeah. We. I. That's I important. Huge. Huge, yeah. huge, huge. Mary Kay doesn't give me a penny towards this project. I've right. never even asked for a penny. <laughs> right. And I think it's the perception. You don't want to give the perception that Mary Kay Inc. is doing this because right. they're not. You're an independent contractor. Exactly. So when you're doing this, like you don't, you would put it in closed Facebook groups. You're not putting this out, out on your whole Facebook group. Cause again, you don't want to give someone a misunderstanding that this Mary Kay Ash, cause we're not a nonprofit. Mary Kay corporate is not a nonprofit and Correct. your business as an independent contractor is not a nonprofit. So you just want to be cautious with how you communicate. But I love that we can use our business. And I've seen consultants that are scared to death to book parties for themselves, but if it's for a purpose and a cause, they can book 10 parties. Isn't that crazy? But it's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's so true. Um, I tell people, find what sets your soul on fire. If it's grandparents, find a way you can team up to help out some local li living community centers. Mm -hmm. And they always need hand cream, foot cream, if nothing else, just those two things, extra money, night cream. That's huge. What a way to bless them. And they'll go and hand it to them to, um, um, hand to hand with a nice handwritten note telling them how much you value them, that mm -hmm. their experience is invaluable. You just, I, I actually was a part of an adopt, uh, adopt a grandparent program. And I had to, you can't chase two rabbits. So I handed that over to um, one of my consultants, Tamika Turner, who now has turned that into a non-for-profit and she is just going to town with it. Um, there are people that are very passionate about um, cancers that affect women and children and, and whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. And that's their passion. You mm -hmm. have to find out what sets your soul on fire mm -hmm. and follow that. Don't do it just because, oh, this, someone's doing it and oh, this can, we can get here with it. People mm -hmm. will through that. It has to be, what are you passionate about? Yep. Perfect. Um, okay. So what else would you like to share? Um, so as I was starting to say about 60,000 of what I did was for the soldiers. And then the rest is pretty well split down the middle of the road um, between new customers and current customers. I mean, I just went and did a facial with one of my regular customers I've had for 10 years, $318. Here you go. <laughs> and, uh -huh. it, and it's just because I'm, con and I'm, I'm in person. I'm not just talking to her on the phone or texting back and forth. Your customers want to see your face whenever you can. Uh -huh. Because um, when I couldn't, they would come to me. I mean, I when we were talking about that pivoting, you'd be amazed if you tell people, you know, I'm like when I had surgery, when I was I mean, I, this past year and a half, I've had five surgeries. So um, I say, oh, man, I'm not I'm not able to drive right now. Um, however, I can have you come to me if you don't mind. And I promise I'll at least be clean. <laughs> you know, your customers will love you where you're at when you are truly authentic. And don't don't be don't be afraid to I mean, I'm not going to tell my life story. But, um, you know, don't be afraid to be transparent. Hey, I, I would love to come to you. However, right now I, I, I'm unable to do that, but I, I would just so love to get your opinion. Would you be willing to come to me this time? So that way they're not thinking, yeah. oh, now I'm going to come every time. <laughs> so, Perfect. you know, I do try to do that. Um, things I do for my customers, um, I have 15% off for their birthday in their birthday month. Um, I do 20% off for a grateful holiday open house. I do my open house in November because that is Thanksgiving. And I want to thank them for being my customer and give them 20% off anything their little heart desires. I make it a huge party. For those that want to come here, I have food set up. I have drinks set up. I have a gift for them. I am loving on them. I love my customers. Where would I be without them? And so many of my customers become my happy consultants. You can be either one with me. I mean, I can ask someone about the opportunity today. They tell me no. I ask, hey, can I have permission to check back with you in about six months? I go, we all know life can change. You never know. And we all know what happened over COVID. Um, so, I mean, I've had my best three years in the last three years. 
so, you know, COVID just taught us how to pivot. So um, I'm trying to um, look and see what there was something else. I was, oh, I will tell you, um, I'm, I have been a part of like BNI groups and things like that. Um, the problem for me is because I have had so many surgeries and traveling so much, I couldn't be committed to do that um, this past year and a half. But I was, but I loved it when I was in the group. I made great connections and I actually received many new customers and um, consultants from that, people supporting my non for profit. But since I couldn't do that, um, this past year and a half, I had to pivot again. A friend of mine owns a business. It's called Rochester Apparel. She does something called try-ons where she goes to all the different hospitals and different groups and set up the clothing and people can try them whatever they want and they buy. I mean, we're doing anywhere from five to $15,000 a day in just hours. So there's a lot of people I'm meeting. She has allowed me to set up a little Mary Kay section. So people can put their name in for a drawing. I'm handing out gift. Every single person that comes up, they're getting a gift card. Um, I mean, obviously, if, if they have a consultant, they're you know we pass on them because we don't take anyone else's customer. Um, but that has enabled me to meet so many people that I get to talk to individually. And I can vet them to find out, do they already have a consultant? Because I'm not going to, I'm not going to obviously do that. That's just not my bag. There's enough, there's enough um, beautiful people in the sea for all of us. We don't need to um, take anyone else's um, you know, customer. So I'm me, thinking, Lauren, when you're saying that, um, that's a, that lady, that's a great idea for her business, but you could also do it with like a hairdresser that has people come to her whether it's at a shop or in her home, a nail person, mm -hmm. like think of people that are either going to people or have people coming to them that you can partner with because it helps their business too. I mean, it's very oh, reciprocal. Mm -hmm. I've, I've actually done that. Um, a friend of mine, um, Holly, she owns Pro Nails and she, you know, they, they do, you know, pedicures, manicures. She even does, you know, the tattooing, uh, you know, the uh -huh. micro so does all that. And I've gone in there and just done um, satin lips and satin hand treatments, getting people ready before they're having any of their treatments, they're getting blessed. And if they want to, they can enter to, <laughs> they can enter to win <laughs> um, a free facial with me at the same time. So, and quite often, because I'm not a person that wants to go back and call, if I'm in front of them right then and there, I'm going to book them right then and there. Mm -hmm. Don't yes. win. We need to have a sense of urgency. That's part of one of the things I was starting to talk about before. We need to have a sense of urgency. I actually put this down here, not just in the month of June. It needs to be daily. It doesn't mean I'm hitting my head against the wall um, with a sense of urgency. It just means I'm being proactive. I'm treating every day like, hey, this is an opportunity. Don't let it pass me by. If you want more, you have to do and be more. Um, I did, I actually heard something today and let's see, how much time do we have? Are we good? Um, um, yeah, we, yeah, go ahead. Um, there was a question, um, where did you get the gift cards? Are they just for our product? I'm thinking that you probably just make them or these are from, them? I believe these are from my girlfriend's house. So it was just from one okay. of those companies that um, whenever we go to events, I'm like, oh, they have these little cards. Like, oh, let me grab them. Yeah. But you can, you can also, they, um, that, that company, and I know I probably shouldn't say this. Um, I got these really beautiful gift cards are like this big and they come with envelopes. Well, I took, I made a copy of them and put them on cardstock. Um, and so mm -hmm. I just made yeah. more for myself. <laughs> yeah. Um, mm -hmm. so you can yep. do that as well. It doesn't have to be this card, but if you're going to mm -hmm. give someone a gift certificate, it's got to be on cardstock. Yes. And what's really super cool over at Walmart, now if you have Walmart's where you are, I'm, I'm assuming you do, but um, they have this shiny, shiny paper that's actually very tactile when you touch it and you can um, uh, do that as well. So when you hand them that gift card, it's nice and shiny and it's, mm -hmm. and, it, and it's, and it's really cool. And um, uh -huh. it shimmers, it sparkles. It's really super pretty. So I do a lot of printing with that. 
So Perfect. not enough cardstock. Um, okay. Those are the only questions. So yeah, whatever you want to share okay. to wrap this up that you feel you want them to hear. Okay. So, um, you know, I kind of shared about my son. Well, my son was also um, in the Navy. And after he got out of the Navy is when he got hit by the semi truck. And because of things that happened when my daughter was assaulted, my son was very upset about that because he really felt like he um, he let his little sister down. But instead of telling her he felt bad about letting her down, he literally attacked her and attacked me and with his words. And it definitely put, caused a divide. Um, and so we're all praying for our kids in one way, shape or form. And um, no matter what he said, um, there are kids, we love them where they're at. And when he got hit by that semi truck, I didn't say, well, you treated me like crap a year ago. So I'm just going to ignore you. No, you don't do that. Um, you just keep on being consistent. So be consistent with your kids, be consistent with your, um, customers, with your consultants, just be you, no matter what comes your way that may not sound good. That's how we go like this. La, 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 la. <laughs> because at the end of the day, hurt people, hurt people. My son was hurt. So that's what he did. Well, I want to read to you what he sent to me on the year anniversary of his accident. They even dated it, 62623, a year later. I'm writing this on my one year mark since my accident. After spending the day thinking of all the progress I've made and the amount of support you've given me along the way. We're not going to pretend this past year has been easy on either of us. But most of all, you having to be there with nearly every day when none of us truly knew how things would turn out. I believe that prior to all this, there was a good amount of distance between us and the accident brought us closer in ways that, let's be real, couldn't have been unknown, LOL. With your support alone, with the support... <laughs> No, with the stubbornness you passed along to me, I've been able to crush each obstacle course that comes my way. We can't forget about one of the best things you played a part in, which was Talia, who's been one, if maybe the best gifts I've received besides my legs working again. Talia is his little puppy. He was getting so depressed and I could tell he was getting depressed. Um, I mean, I knew that because he was calling me three, four times a week talking for an hour. Okay, that, I mean, <laughs> that tells you something. So um, I knew he needed something and I felt that would be, when someone's depressed, you need to give them something to take care of and something that can love him unconditionally. And praise the Lord, that was def def definitely what he needed. So if there's one story I'll forever be able to relate to, it's Humpty Dumpty. And that makes me upset. How relatable, but I also chuckle pretty hard about it. We both know that I'm not one for emotions, but I want you to know just how much I truly love you, whether I'm able to physically show it or not. Love you 3000, Devin. All the pain, everything that's happened. I was a single mom of a two and a six year old when I started working crazy hours. Mary Kay saved my life, saved my relationship with my kids through every single up and down that we've had. I can't imagine what my life would have been like if I was still punching that journey of the broke clock. I would not have had the positive attitude I have through all these obstacles. I wouldn't be able to pass that on to my children so they would persevere. I am beyond grateful and I could never be more grateful for the gifts that Mary Kay has given me. I don't care about the 10 cars, all the diamonds, take them all. You know, earning all the special prizes, take it all. The friendships I have, I was able to call on Don, say, Don, would you be willing to stand up with me? She, I shouldn't even blink an eye. They'll let me, I'll do it. <laughs> I mean. You can't put a price tag 
on, on the relationships, the relationships we're able to have, the growth we're able to have to be able um, to be like that phoenix and rise out of the ashes. That is only from Mary Kay. I've never met any other, I got chills. I've never met any other company that supports us like Mary Kay does and has the sisterhood that we have. We can depend on each other. There's always someone that's there to hold up your arms, just like they did for Moses. That's huge. And I'm, I'm going to end with what I listened to today. It was called a bend in the road. And there were five things, you know, and to, and to propel you forward, disruptive moments are divine appointments. Progress without pain is not possible. So that's why we want to be a part of the Din Din Club. Do it now, do it now, do it now. Three, the promise of God is provision of his grace. He will never lead you where he won't equip you. Trust the process. His grace is sufficient for us. Number four, distru dis disruptive moments produce dynamic growth. Think about the plant. A plant grows its strongest during a storm because it knows its roots have to dig deeper so it doesn't get taken out. Dig deep, ladies. Um, and the last one, what we receive depends on how we respond. You want to have a productive 2023, 2024 seminar year? How are you going to respond to, life, to life's challenges? You will receive so much more if you respond to those challenges with excellence instead of hiding under that rock. It's still going to be there when you come out. So deal with it now. Do it now because your future and the future of those around you truly depends on it. I am forever grateful that someone took a chance on me. Who knows whose treasure chest is attached to yours? So just do it now. That's all I can, that's all I can say. I'm just so excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Lauren, that was beautiful. I'm going to stop the recording because I want people to be able to unmute and share. Um, if you guys could share, you know, in short, concise, so more people can share a word or a sentence or a thought or an impression that um, you're grateful that Lauren shared with us today. I wrote down pivot with the purpose, determination, proactive, make something happen, um, keep the progress going. Um, I loved what you shared. You need to sit on that throne. There's more women that need to hear this. So thank you for your time. I'm gonna stop the recording, but please stay on. Okay.